going down Saturday, October 23rd. Bethesda Blues and Jazz presents Brand Nubian. Smith and Wesson, live in concert. For tickets and more information, log on to Bethesda Blues. October 23rd, Brand Nubian, Smith and Wesson in the building. It's crazy. The perfect cleanse and reboot for a healthy immune system. Everybody probably already know by now, and you probably know this, uh, R. Kelly found guilty on all charges in racketeering and a sex trafficking case in his trial in Brooklyn, New York, New York City. Yes. That's some shit. Racketeering, though. God damn. Like, mm -hmm. aren't they a little reaching with that? Like, Well, they were racket? saying... <laughs> Well, they were saying basically his managers and people in his camp were rounding up females and women at the different concerts and bringing them across state line right. so he can have a rendezvous with them. So that, that's where the racket that's what, racketeering that's what, all, <laughs> that's what all managers and shit do, except I guess they're trying to say that some of these women were underage. That's the thing, yes? Mm hmm Right. Right. Because, and, uh, because most rappers that are living that type of lifestyle, that's the job of their manager is to round up broads and to get them backstage and possibly, you know, onto the jet or whatever the case may be, at the very least, to the hotel. Right. They said he violated what is called the M-A-N-N. -N. The man law. The man law. The man law is where you bring women across state lines to participate in anything immoral. It's called the man. That's gotta be an old school law right there. Because wow, so you can't take a woman across state lines and then be like, oh, we're gonna have sex? Like that's and and, and sex mm. what because it's out of wedlock, it's immoral. Like that's crazy. Like, I could see if they brought him across state lines to, like, sell pussy, okay? That's some whole neck shit. Like, I understand that. That's That should be, you know, if prostitution is a crime, well, then that should be a crime. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But if I'm just crossing state lines... So, so, technically, if you cross state lines with your girlfriend... If they and have sex with her, if they want to, they can call that the man act. Yes. Can't they do that to anyone? Yeah. Well, it was started way back in uh, 1910. It started off as the White exactly. Slave Traffic Act, the White mm. Slave Traffic Act, also mm. called the Man Act. And it's funny because it was the Man Act named after James Robert Mann, a congressman mm. out of Illinois. Mm. And so, there, but do you see what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Like, is this, this sounds very arbitrary. Like, this sounds like the kind of law that, you know, we'll apply it when we feel like it and we won't apply it when we don't. Like, one of those reaching type of laws. Because again, are you telling me that anybody that travels state lines with a woman that they're not married to and has sex with them, that they're committing a crime? Because if that's the case, a lot of people are committing crimes. Well, also coupled with the part that they're... Now, it doesn't under. have to be just under eight. And see, is that the thing? Or is it just any woman? I need to know this law. I need to know this. Yeah, let me look up the details here for you. Look up the details. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. The Man Act. 
wild stuff. Okay, so now there's a different year, right? Now there's the Mann Act of 1925, and it states here, the Mann Act made it a crime to transport women across state lines, quote, for the purposes of prostitution or debauchery or any other immoral purpose, end quote. See, saying, while, designed, while designed to combat forced prostitution, the law was so broadly worded that courts held it Hold on. That courts mm -hmm. held it to criminalize many forms of consensual sexual activity. Go. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's so broadly worded. Thank you, James Anderson. He said, peace, Lord. As soon as you said that word and little Nas X was gone, brother, the 1% watched you, yo. One love, God cast from UK. I think I actually hit some shit over here, but mm. so that's where the trafficking part comes. They said there was an organized, uh, ongoing criminal activity. So that's where the trafficking <laughs> aspect comes from. Mm. <clears throat> so he's uh, looking at uh, possibly twenty years, but they're going to try to appeal it. Like who would have ever? <sighs> See, this is the thing, too. Like, you got a lot of rappers out here right now living it up. You know, they got millions of dollars. They're fucking this one and that one. And they're doing all kind of shit. And even just rappers, just people in general. Like, like you could be on top at one moment and then at the next moment, it's a whole nother scenario like like let's just think back everyone just for a minute do you remember when r kelly's reign was like this motherfucker was the illest nigga in r b like like nobody could fuck with him he was just coming with hit after hit after hit back to back and his videos just look opulent and he just was having Looked like he was just getting mad money and having mad fun. Like he was at the top of the world. Never in a million years at that time did we or he believe that fast forward to 2021 that this man would be facing 20 years for the lifestyle that he cultivated for himself. And I'm not saying it was a good lifestyle. I'm I'm just saying that just the, just the irony of how life can work sometimes. Like there's many people right now in the chat that were like envious of R. Kelly back then. Like, hmm. damn, this nigga doing it. Like I remember being like, yo, this nigga doing it. Rest in peace to my man Star. Like. If my man Star could have traded places with R. Kelly, he would have. Like, like my man Star could sing and 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 listen. R. Kelly was doing all that shit. My man Star was doing wanted to do minus the, you know, pedophile shit. <laughs> um, now back in the day, maybe shed some light, Lord Jamar, when you were on tour back in the day, where a lot of the rappers, when they were on tour going from city to city, they were popping women in the same city, right? And then on to the next. They weren't flying them or bring them bringing them across state lines. No, yeah. That might I've be the difference. Some, I've seen some state line shit happen. I've seen mm. a nigga, I've seen dudes like get up with some girls in one state and then, you know, all of a sudden, the girls is on the bus coming to the next state. And you kind of like, how are you getting these girls back? Like, like yo, they're going to get a ride or some, <laughs> some shit. <in> there. <laughs> they're going to hop on another, you know, the Greyhound, and they figure the shit out type of shit. And it's just like, okay. Like, um, <laughs> but hell yeah, that, that has happened. Like, you know what I mean? We wasn't moving around on jets and shit like that. Now, ain't nobody putting 
you know, we wasn't in that type of situation where we had jets and could put girls on jets. But we definitely had buses and shit like that. Mm. And you know what I mean? Okay. And I definitely distinctly remember people bringing girls that they Across might have state lines. Be like, you know what? Hold on to this. Might, the pickings might be slim in the next town or some shit. Let me bring this one with me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so I, I've seen shit like that happen. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you may be right. It sounds like they are picking and choosing, and they're picking and choosing to use this against uh, Kells. Well, and, and, and let it be a lesson, though, is like, knowing that they do shit like this that they can pick and choose and depending who you are like maybe you shouldn't be you know bringing women across state lines especially you niggas out there that got a hanker in front of them white girls you know you got a hanker in front of them white women so now you start bringing them white women across state lines uh oh uh oh that's mm. when they start pulling out the man act on your fucking ass. That's when they start looking at all kind of books and shit. Like, how can I? Okay, yeah, the man act. Yeah, let's get him. Mm. Pimping and pandering. Even if he didn't pimp her, he brought her across state lines for debauchery. Is mm. it not free for a black man to have sex with a white woman? I say it is. Mm. You know? And that's the mm. type of shit we're dealing with. All right, man. That's some wild stuff, man. Um, oh, oh, another thing. So his attorney said that they're obviously they're going to appeal it. But then uh, word on the streets is R. Kelly said he's going to now snitch on the celebrities that are involved in pedophilia. Ooh. So it might get deep. Go on with your 6 9 self. Do it. I would like to see who he says. I would like to see who he says, because if there's other ones out there, they need to be blown up. They need to be they need to be brought before the congregation and lashed and thrashed and all the other ashed that we can think of. Um, Mm. Yeah, fuck them. Whoever they are, if that's what they doing, fuck them. And some of them, get ready, because some of them might be some of your favorites. Some of them might be guys you really love their music. Hey, we loved R. Kelly's music, too. But you said fuck him. So get ready. He might have some other people for you to say fuck you, too. Huh? Huh? Now, I was on a... I was on Twitter earlier today, and somebody had uh, responded to that, and they said, oh, no. Let me see. Uh, let, let me say R.I.P. to R. Kelly right now. So if something weird happens to R. to Kells, you know what I mean? Something always mysteriously happens. Well, Just so you won't let the cat to... out the bag. Is is because he's he allegedly had sex slaves and all kind of shit like that. Like again. <laughs> What if he? What if he was turned into a fucking sex slave in jail? Wow, that would be quite the turn of events. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> That's mm, a topsy turvy mm, mm. life. 